everyone. Welcome to Free Workout Friday. This is Katja. I'm Amber. Let's work out with slingshots to warm up in three, two, one. Pass that kettlebell around your waist. We're going to go 30 seconds per direction. Like a dance with the kettlebell. <laughs> In 10 seconds, we'll reverse it and go the other way. Can't dance with anyone else? Ooh, just dance with the bells. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, other direction. Your fingers are nice and loose. Nice quick pass. If you drop the kettlebell here, then you are uh, officially a kettlebell lifter because you just, you just aren't one until you've dropped the kettlebell, right? In 10 seconds, we'll move into squat benders. So you're gonna take the kettlebell, rest it between your shoulder blades, and we're gonna do a forward bend followed by a squat. In three, two, one, grab that kettlebell by the horns, behind you, on your back, forward bend with straight legs, and then a squat. Good. Very nice, five more seconds. Three, two, one, set the kettlebell down. Let's move into hip swings. 30 seconds per leg, you can grab a wall if you need to, or balance on that one foot. Katja, you got a fast hip swing, it's good. <laughs> Loosen it up. Nice, three, two, one, other leg, just in time before you fall over. In 10 seconds, we'll move into big hip circles. You'll have a nice wide stance, feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart, Three, two, one, let's do that. 30 seconds per direction here. And reverse it. We've got a great single bell workout for you today. We have options for lighter, medium, or heavy weights. We can adjust it to whatever you have, but if you have choices, it's always great to have them. In 10 seconds, we'll move into a standing folding star. Three, two, one, arms up, right hand to your left foot, and reverse. In 10 seconds, we're gonna do feet together and we're gonna do knee circles. In five, four, three, two, one, no kettlebell, feet together, sit down low. We're gonna go 15 seconds per direction here. And reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's stand up and go high knees for 30. You can walk this, but if you are capable of running it, this is a warm up, so let's get warm. Go for it. Same thing with our butt kicks that are coming up in 15 seconds for the final 30. 
before we hit tile one. Awesome, take it back for butt kicks. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's coming up. We've got three exercises that we're gonna do in a little circuit. We'll go through them twice today for 30 seconds each with 10 seconds of rest in between. We're gonna start with skaters, which we don't need a kettlebell for. Then we're gonna do two hand swings, which you definitely do need a kettlebell for. And then uh, push-ups, just regular old push-ups, no kettlebell necessary. Those are gonna be our exercises to start. Three, two, one, time, warm up complete. So starting with the skaters, this is a lateral jump. Katya's gonna demonstrate it for you in a second. And of course, if you don't jump, you can always modify these things. Uh, the modifier is gonna be a side lunge if you don't jump. But if you can jump, you're gonna jump from one foot to the other foot. You can use that behind leg for balance. If you can do it without using touching down your back foot, then that would be your extra credit version. Two hand swings. You're gonna start with the bell about a foot in front of you. You're gonna squat down, nice athletic position, hike it high between your legs, and then swing it up in front of you, keeping it close, bending your elbows so that the trajectory of the bell is going up towards the ceiling at the top, not out away from you. Perfect. And then we'll drop to the floor for push-ups. These can be conventional. Absolutely good. Or on your knees. That's totally fine. All right. So 30 seconds per exercise, going through them all twice, 10 seconds of rest in between. So starting with our skaters, jumping left to right in three, two, one, go. Very good. So if you land with a, a nice bend in your legs to absorb the weight, you should feel more stable. Good, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time, <laughs> awesome. Okay, next up, two hand swings. Okay, got that bell in front of you. We're gonna get it ready to hike it. Bend your knees, ready, three, two, one, and go. Breathing out as it uh, comes and compresses against your body and you bend over in as your chest expands and you stand up tall. Excellent, straightening the legs and the back swing if you can so you can get a little bit deeper. Kettlebell's going on like a skateboard ramp behind you and back up. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Nice. And 30 seconds of push ups coming up in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go. Very good. If you need to hold the plank, you can absolutely do that. If you need to drop to your knees, you can do that too. But if you've got more gas, you've got 10 seconds left to rep them out. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, we're really warmed up now, so we're gonna do it one more time. Back to our skater jumps in five, four, three, two, one, go. Good. Awesome, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and time, beautiful. 10 seconds rest, two hand swings. Kata, you want to give us a side view this time? Yeah. You got a nice looking swing. Let's show it off. In five, four, three, two, one, go.
Good. The kettlebell is going to fly up as high as is in proportion to the amount of energy you give it when you scoop it forward with your legs out of the back, back swing. So yours might not look like Katya's. It might be a little bit higher, might be a little bit lower, and that's fine. But this is just about perfect. Three, two, one, and time. Good. Excellent. Last 30 seconds of push-ups. In three, two, one, go. Nice. 15 seconds down. 10 seconds to go. Get it, get it, get it. For five, four, three, two, one. And section one is complete. Good work. All right, moving on. Section two. Same timing as section one. So we're keeping it simple. New exercise, kneeling windmill. We're gonna do for 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on the other and then star pullover. So the kneeling windmill, yeah. your right knee is up, then you have the kettlebell in your right hand and you're gonna bend down to the left. Good, you're gonna hit the floor and then use your obliques to stand yourself back up, pressing that kettlebell towards the ceiling. The kettlebell's always staying right over your shoulder there. Beautiful. So we'll do 30 seconds on one side and then 30 on the other. And again, with or without a kettlebell, because it's it's a great exercise even without it. And it depends on if you have a light enough bell. If it's if your bell is too heavy, I would recommend just um, doing it without the weight. Okay. And then the star pullover. You're going to be laying on your back. You set your kettlebell behind you. You're going to reach behind you and grab it by the horns and you're gonna pull it over and then reach it towards your left toe. Then it goes all the way back behind you as you sit up. This time you're gonna hit your right toe. So you can bring it down, uh, pull it over to your chest a little bit more so it's lower, sure, as you sit up. It doesn't have to stay so high. It might be a little bit easier to manage that way. Beautiful, so pull it over to your chest and as you sit up, reach towards your opposite toe. Gorgeous, <laughs> two rounds of those. You guys have had plenty of rest. Katya's had none, so that means it's time to start, right? Yep, and then so press that bell up, and then lean down in three, two, one, palm to the floor, looking up at the kettlebell. You're gonna hit it and stand back up. Good, this is slow and controlled and great. Excellent. Nice. 10 more seconds. And then we'll have just enough time to get situated on the other side. Three, two, one, good. Bring it to your chest, to the floor, switch hands. Press it up, we're all ready. In five, four, three, two, one, and good. Lean your palm into the floor look up feel that weight in a nice straight line from the bell to the shoulder to your other shoulder to your palm good ten more seconds you'll feel that it feels different on one side than the other probably three two one nice Set that aside, you get to lay down, back to the floor for that star pullover. In five, four, three, two, one. Grab the kettlebell by the horns, pull it over to your chest and reach towards one foot. Next time you reach towards the other foot, good. Oh, your obliques are going to love you tomorrow. Five, four, three, two, one. That's one round. We're going to go through the whole thing one more time. 
Back to kneeling windmill. Oops. That's all right. I'm so sorry. No, that's totally fine. Three, two, one, and bell up and down. Palm to the floor. Good job. It's getting crazy in here. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. We got 10 seconds off. In five, four, three, two, one, other side. Good. Slowly come up. Perfect. Feel that work. Three, two, one, and time. Excellent. And we get to lay down again. In five, four, three, two, one. Pull it over and reach. Awesome. Only 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. We are cruising through this class. Section two is done already. Section three, this is a fun one, but this is one where we really want to have a lightweight, manageable kettlebell, something you feel really comfortable and have good control with. If you don't, we're going to do a modifier. But I'm going to show you the regular version first, or kate is. This is a bottoms up half snatch. So first, let's show them the bottoms up clean. This is where you grab the handle in the corner. You're going to flip it upside down. Bring your elbow into your body. This is your resting position. So every time, you're going to come back to this and then start the bottoms up snatch again. So you'll drop it between your legs and press it all the way up. Great. And then back to the rack, the bottoms up clean, and then press it back up. So if you have too heavy of a bell, you're just gonna wanna do the bottoms up clean part. You can also grab your hand for assistance and press it up. But do be careful that you don't smack yourself in the head. <laughs> That's our goal here. Anyway, we're gonna do 20 seconds per side with 10 seconds of rest in between. Good, awesome. So we want to um, just uh, one more thing on this before we start, just to make sure everybody is safe. You want to keep it so that you're pressing the bell up into the lockout position. You don't want it to be a big arc of a swing where you have a lot of momentum going backwards at the top. The momentum is coming in the bottom part of the swing, then it hits about chest height, and from there you're gonna push it straight up towards the ceiling. And actually, Katya, why don't you show us a side view so they can catch that real quick. Yeah. Very good. So you do not want the bell to go um, behind your shoulders, past your shoulders. It's going to be exactly. You want to keep it in front of your shoulder so the mass of the bell is over your shoulder. Enough talking. You guys are ready. You ready to try this? It's going to be a fun one. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight sets, alternating hands each set. Ready? In three, two, one, go. All the way up, back to chest for the bottoms up clean position and between your legs. Good. One. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. You can keep swinging in between these two if you would like to, if you do have a light bell and want to keep that alternating swing going, by all means. But get ready for your other hand in three, two, one, go. Awesome. Because we don't need to take rests that we don't need, right? 
good. Nice, totally straight arm, good lockout at the top, and time. That's one round down. We get to go through it three more times per side. Alternating swing to keep our heart rate up, keep going, get ready for back to the first hand in three, two, one, and go. Good, so this one just doesn't work really unless you bend your elbow as you swing it up. Three, two, one, and time. 10 seconds of leisure activity. Three, two, one, other hand. Awesome. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds off. We're halfway through. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Just went early. Just excited. <laughs> Only need to stop at the top just long enough so that it's still for a split second. Call that fixating just for a moment and then you can drop it back down. And time, 10 seconds off. Three, two, one, and go. It's good. Bringing that elbow into your hip for stability when you bring it back to your chest. Elbow down to the hip. Contact with your upper body. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. We've gone through three rounds. We got one more time through on each hand. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and hand switch. Last twenty second set coming up here in five, four, three, two, one, go. Awesome, almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Section three complete. Section four, it's just, it's just one lone set of tactical lunge, that's it. 90 seconds straight through, so you'll be ready to be done when it's done, don't worry. So it, a tactical lunge is a reverse lunge where you pass the kettlebell between your legs each rep, so exactly. So if you're holding the kettlebell in your right hand, it's your right leg that moves back and out of the way. If you're holding it in your left hand, your left leg moves back. Excellent, so the kettlebell never goes in front of your knee, which uh, if you see it passing in front of your knee, hold up, stop, watch Katya, and get back on track, okay? So it's 90 seconds straight through in three, two, one, and go. She started in her left hand, her left leg goes back. Now it's in your right hand, your right leg goes back. Good, beautiful. Getting a nice deep lunge there, passing it loosely. So if you hold the kettlebell uh, handle on one end, that will make it easier so you have an opening to grab it on the other side as you pass it. And you're keeping your upper body as erect as you can keep it as you do this. 
Already got 30 seconds down, less than a minute to go. Once you get the rhythm, you can try to push yourself on the pace a little bit. And it'll start flowing really nicely. Good, 45 seconds to go. Awesome, it's like, it's like climbing stairs without climbing stairs is what it feels like. 30 seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go. Yep, see, final ten seconds. Hang in there. For five, four, three, two, one, and time. Hello, goodbye, Tactical Lunge. It is section five. It's a four minute AM ramp. As many rounds as possible in four minutes. This is what we're gonna do. Five goblet squats. For the goblet squat, let's hold the kettlebell upside down by the round part. So you're gonna squeeze the kettlebell. That way you'll get excellent uh, arm workout too while you're doing this. So squeeze that kettlebell, drop down into a squat, and stand up. That's one rep. We're gonna do five of those. Beautiful. After we've done that, we're gonna lay down on the floor, grab your kettlebell of choice. Use a lighter one here for sure. And as you sit up, you start with this one just on your chest. Very good. And as you sit up, you press the kettlebell up so that it finishes over your shoulders. Straight up, good. That's our sit up, get up. We're gonna do five of those. When those are done, it's plank jacks for 10. So we hit the plank position and we're gonna jump like a jumping jack on the ground here for 10. Of course, if this is too much for you, you can step one foot out at a time and do that route. I don't care, let's just keep going and give it your all for four minutes, hang in there. All right, are you ready Katya? Of course she is. You guys ready at home? Of course you are. Goblet squats in three, two, one. Hold that kettlebell close to your chest and drop down that weight pushing through your heels, standing up nice and tall between every rep, getting your butt down. Very good. After your goblet squats, you got the sit up, get ups. For five reps, sitting up all the way tall on your sits bones, straightening your arms as far as they will straighten at the top. So you really press that out as you sit up, lock it out and return. Good. And then plank jacks, turn it over into that plank position and jump your feet out. Good. All right, Katya finished around in 45 seconds. How are you guys doing at home? Got time for about five rounds. We're on number two. Five goblet squats, five sit-up get-ups, 10 plank jacks. I find sit up get ups to be one of those exercises that starts out feeling really easy and then all of a sudden you're like, hey, actually I can't do it anymore. <laughs> and that caught me by surprise. Goblet squats, sit up get ups, plank jacks. Two and a half minutes to go. Yeah. Goblet squats, sit up, get ups, plank jacks. Two minutes left. Yes. <laughs> That's all right. Great job. Ninety seconds left on the clock. When you're doing those plank jacks, 
You just don't want your butt to dip below your shoulders, right? You want to keep a nice solid plank, try to keep your torso still. Awesome. Crushing it. We are closing in here on our final minute. Here it is, 60 seconds left. Go, 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 go. Yes, goblet squat, sit up, get up, plank jacks. Time for one more round. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds left. Whatever you're doing now, let's do it all the way home, all the way to the end for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and that is class. Excellent work. <laughs> Good job getting it done. Don't go anywhere though. We're gonna do a quick stretch, cool down, right? Excellent. So clear some space and we're gonna sit down on the floor, raise your hands to the ceiling and then bend at the waist, bend forward, grab your toes if you can. Fold and release for about 20 count here. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, to the floor. Take your right foot, put it in front of your left knee, Grab behind your left knee or your shin there and pull it in for figure four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, other leg. Left foot in front of your right knee, grab behind your right knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, let's flip it over onto our tummies. Your arms are gonna come out to a T. You're gonna do right heel, comes off the floor, crosses your body towards your left hand for a scorpion stretch. If you can get the sole of your foot on the floor, that is great. Ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and other side. So come back to the middle, pick up your other heel, flip it over onto the floor behind you. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's come back to the middle for Cobra. You can rest on your forearms or push all the way up onto your wrists, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna hang out here for a second. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, and 20. We're gonna push our hips back under our feet or between our feet, whatever's comfortable for you. Stretch your arms out in front of you. Press your palms into the floor. Pull against that. Feel that lat stretch. Let your hips sink downward. And rest. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. We have four more of these classes we put out each week. Check out on ProKettlebell.com if you want them. All right. Thanks for Katya for being here. Thank you guys. See you later.